Hello, it's time for another episode of Discipleship Today. My name is Bob Benson. I pastor Christ Lutheran Church in uh, Bemis Point. Uh, <clears throat> we've been working through a couple of books in the Bible talking about discipleship, the most important thing that we've all been called to do. If you're not part of a discipleship relationship, you need to get involved, either discipling or being discipled or both. When you walk alongside somebody, you can learn from them. And we've been walking through uh, 2 Timothy, where Paul has written a letter to this young pastor, uh, kind of laying out some groundwork for how he does discipleship and how churches run. And we're in 2 Timothy chapter 1. We're going to finish chapter 1 today, verses 15 through 18. I'm going to read it, and then we'll back up and make some comments. It says there, You are aware that all who are in Asia turned away from me, among whom Phyrages and Hermogenes, may the Lord grant mercy to the household of Anipharis. For he often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chains. But when he arrived in Rome, he searched for me earnestly and found me. May the Lord grant him favor and find mercy from the Lord on that day. And you well know all the service that he rendered at Ephesus. Here, uh, Paul is talking about personal people. He's talking about a situation that he was in. Uh, it seemed like he had been abandoned by everyone. But when you're feeling like you've been abandoned by everyone, there's always somebody that steps into the gap there. And he talks about um, Oniferous. He often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chains. You know, some of the best people I know have been in prison. And uh, Paul was one of those. And he was held in prison for his witness to Jesus Christ. Those are the kind of people that I want to hang out with. Those are the kind of people I want to know about. And uh, this Oniferous, he searched, it says here, he arrived in Rome and he searched for me earnestly. Remember that Paul was probably under house arrest. He wasn't in a dark dungeon prison at this point. Uh, so, and you know, if you didn't have somebody to provide for you, even when you were under house arrest, you didn't have any resources. Somebody had to take care of you when you were locked up. And we're thinking that that's what this Oniferous was doing. He searched for him earnestly, uh, and, and Paul asked for a blessing on him. May the Lord grant him to find mercy from the Lord on that day. What day is he talking about? He's talking about that day when Jesus Christ yanks his people out of here. And uh, we've been in a study of the book of Revelation, and it's been a great study for us. Uh, but we're supposed to encourage each other with these words. Everything that we read through Revelation is supposed to encourage us to be disciples, to be pouring into people. Uh, we're supposed to get a heart of evangelism for people. We don't want anybody that we know to have to suffer through those things that happen after the rapture, those things during the tribulation period, especially during the great tribulation period, the last three and a half years. So it's supposed to stir a fire in us to be able to share Jesus Christ with them. So um, I, I think that's what Paul is asking for here, is this, this guy, that the Soniferous, would stand strong and that he would find mercy and he would be yanked out of here uh, during the rapture. Remember that they thought it was coming in Paul's day. Um, and I don't know, we see the, the day approaching, don't we? As things wax worse and worse and uh, what we've got going on in our world. And here's the thing he encourages them with. You all well know the service that he rendered me in Ephesus. This guy was a, a faithful servant of Jesus Christ. And to be a servant means that you search after somebody else's good while even forgetting about your own good. That's what a servant is. And we've all been called to be servants of Jesus Christ, to look after other people's good more than we look after our own. If that becomes true in your life, you will be a discipler and you will be discipled. So for Discipleship Today, my name is Pastor Bob Benson. Thank you for taking the time to watch.